Hello friends, this video shows how you can fix the problem here and what happens is that when you start the Windows 10, it shows the black screen and uh, taskbar start button notification area keeps on flashing or keeps blinking. So how to fix that problem? When I searched on the uh, internet, I found that uh, I need to execute this command sepsis slash scan now in the command prompt. But uh, even after executing this command, uh, that problem didn't uh, got fixed. So what I uh, did is that to fix the problem is uh, I enter the safe mode in Windows 10 and then uh, this screen was appearing then what I did is I created new user in the command prompt using these two commands net user user one slash add and then I added that user in the administrator group using this command so once that is done what I did is I restarted the, uh, restarted the computer with the normal mode so I restarted computer with normal mode And then logged in with the new user that I created, that is user one, and then it uh, fixed the problem. Somehow the existing user was corrupted, so that is how you can fix this problem. Windows 10 uh, showing the black screen or blinking the uh, taskbar. So I will briefly uh, explain you how you can enter the safe mode. So what I did is I pressed Control Shift Escape. Control Shift Escape. This uh, key combination, and then. I came to this task manager and from here I click on, on, on new task and then click on create this task with administrative pri pri privilege and then click on MS config then click on OK and then in the boot uh, tab I clicked on save foot and then selected minimal and then restarted the system so that is how I went to the safe mode and once I was in the safe mode I could uh, launch the command prompt and execute this command net user user one slash add and net local group administrators user one slash add. So after executing this command, a new user was created, and then again I went to the MS config and uh, restarted the system with normal setup. And after that, I logged in with this user one. That is how I uh, fixed this problem. I hope this solves uh, your problem as well. If you have any queries or questions, uh, let me know through the comments. Thanks for watching this video.